Okay, so I made this glass tube full of lead and hope, and I want to float it in alcohol. Why? To weigh the sugar. Well, that doesn't make sense. It sure doesn't. So you just float it in the drink and it tells you something? Exactly. If it floats higher, there's more sugar. If it floats lower, there's more booze. Okay, but how do you know what's high and what's low? Oh, I, I glued a little piece of paper with the numbers inside the glass. These are incredibly hard to read. That's part of the experience. So they're just gonna dunk it in the drink and hope it doesn't break. Yeah, a glass tube full of lead and sticky sugar water, what could go wrong? So these are like for scientists. Oh, no, no, no. This is for people making beer in their garage. Why lead? Why not sand or steel pellets? Why? Our pipes and paint are made of lead. It's the safest heavy metal around. All right, well, is it at least easy to use? No, actually, you have to take a sample, pour it into another tube, make sure it's exactly 68 degrees Fahrenheit with hydrometer in, spin it like you're trying to hypnotize yourself, then squint real hard while waving a rubber chicken over your head. If you do it twice, once before and then once after fermentation, you get to do math. But what if I drop it? Just don't. Don't drop it. I'm not sure people are going to go for this. Delicate glass, tiny, hard to read numbers, math? Don't worry, they're homebrewers. They live for how complicated they can make things. This is made for them. I'm gonna go invent plastic.